my uh, first video reflection for biology 11. Uh, my FA is Brad Price, SA is uh, Kate Robchin. And this was my second class with them. Uh, at, well, as a teacher, as I've been sitting in uh, with them for a while. Um, and today I tried something like kind of a alternative to a lesson, kind of a jigsaw activity. So this is where uh, they were uh, assigned or actually they chose a, a certain phyla of protus and then uh, using the internet and their textbooks had about, you know, 45 to 50 minutes to maybe less 40 minutes to research uh, their phyla and then they had to uh, synthesize that information to some sort of poster and then they had to present to the class so uh going into this uh i wanted them to kind of hit on key points and teach each other um this was i would say all in all this was like a moderate success depending on what exactly my learning objectives were because as I kind of discussed with Brad post lesson, there's a lot of uh, learning going on. When you do something like this, uh, there's a lot of learning. So a lot of skills being used. So one skill would be the researching itself, you know, separating the wheat from the chaff uh, in terms of information, because the, the internet is such a wealth of information, it's easy to go down rabbit holes. So that would be one skill that's being tested. Another skill would be synthesizing information onto like a poster and displaying it visually so that it's useful for not only themselves, but their colleagues. So that's an entirely different skill. Uh, and a third skill that would be tested is their ability to present. So this is like public speaking. Uh, this is like making what they're presenting sound interesting or highlighting highlighting the key information. So that's kind of dependent on the first skill. And then the last skill would be actually uh, listening to their colleagues and extracting that important information while their colleagues are presenting. Uh, because if it's not the teacher talking, maybe a lot of them just switch off completely and don't, don't take notes or don't listen. And that's linked to the third skill, because if they're not presenting well, then the class, the rest of the class is more likely to switch off. Um, so I kind of realized that I wanted them to get certain bits of information from the uh, from the Internet and from the textbook. So I did have prompts. I had questions that I wanted them to answer. However, and for some of the groups, maybe some of the groups with individuals who are good at research or have some um, experience researching and kind of synthesizing, extracting information from a wealth of information. Uh, for these students, my prompts were enough and they did kind of get to the point. But obviously, there's a all those four skills I discussed. There's a huge range of proficiency within every student, and therefore within every group. So, yeah, for some for some students, my prompts were sufficient. For others, they they completely fail. Um, so, if I was to do it again, there's several strategies. Uh, I would have to. And it, again, it's on the it's based on what my objectives were. My objectives were more for the for this to be a substitute to a lesson. Uh, so my objective is for was for them to teach each other for the test. Now, a lot of other skills got developed uh, kind of as a side effect, but that was my objective. And with that, I was moderately successful, but next time if i was to do it again i would approach it a bit differently because i would give them hyper specific 
information that they have to kind of check off like a checklist almost i think a checklist would have been better than kind of a uh, kind of these more open ended questions that i gave so it'd be like is this phyla mostly unicellular multicellular but and then they have to check one off is it photosynthetic uh, heterotrophic or uh, absorptive or a combination and they have to check that off and then present that and then i like all the information i wanted could kind of be done like that um and that would i think then they would be more likely to hit the key points for the presentation uh, another really good suggestion brad made that i liked was let's get them to do the research at home for homework so i kind of at the end of let's say the previous class i would say here's what we're doing tomorrow here are your groups here's the phyla that you're going to be presenting on do a little bit of a division of labor thing uh and then come tomorrow with the research already done that would save so much time uh and then all they would have to do is synthesize uh their the division of labor synthesize all that information they got and then they could spend you know 15 50 minutes making a really nice poster that presents the information better or even a powerpoint that would even even be better so like or there could be other tech solutions that I'm not aware of, uh, but a power, like even then they could get together and do a PowerPoint and I get the computers for them and stuff, and then they could present it as a PowerPoint. Now there could be problems with that as well, but I think doing the research at home uh, would, would solve a lot of the, just the time issues because they didn't feel like they had enough time. Uh, and that being said, like students never feel like they have enough time. so whether they did or not you know i don't know how much more like another 10 minutes how how much better those presentations would have been uh but if you give them the work home they could i think they could have been a lot better uh and then yeah i on the reports i read that uh kate i mean kate and brad did not think that there was much collaboration going when I kind of circulated. I saw a lot of like kind of division of labor stuff uh, going on. So I was pretty happy with, with how they collaborated. Um, yeah, I did spend a lot of time at the front of the room. I was super time conscious because of the fire drill uh, and my timing was like spot on. Uh, so it was m just me kind of uh, looking at the clock a lot and kind of assessing and setting like timers for myself and stuff uh so i didn't get to circulate as much as i liked because i was kind of on edge because of the time issue um yeah a lot of the presentations i felt were like very inadequate for the other students just because a lot of the students don't excel at public speaking and stuff so that being said, I, I I also have slides that I made for this lesson. So I, I had like a backup plan or a parachute. I'm going to give that as a review lesson on Monday so they know exactly what points to hit. Uh, that being said, you know, all those other skills that we talked about are not even uh, developed, you know, whatsoever during a traditional lecture lesson. So I'm I'm very happy I did it. Those other skills are super important. Uh, I will be doing it again with fungi, uh, and I will be experimenting. I'll be tweaking the formula a little bit. So, yeah, that should cover it. Uh, until next time.